Hello, hello, Tatum here. Welcome back to day 12 of our No Quit November. I've got a hot biscuits and gravy workout part two of our lower body, so grab your dumbbells and let's get to it. All right, hello to day 12. Um, for our workout today, we're gonna need a glute band if you have it, all right? If not, don't worry. They're sometimes known as booty bands. You can take a thinner band if you have it also at home. Um, but I really do like these thicker ones if you decide to purchase any. All right. All right. So this, if you have it, and then we are going to do a sumo deadlift. So some heavier weight there are two dumbbells that you can use. We have a lot of squatting. So I, I have a few dumbbells here at 45, 20 and 15. And I'm going to give you an option on doing some weighted and some body weight today. We'll just see how it goes. All right. Okay. So let's go ahead and warm up just real quick. Let's go ahead and hug our knees. Just grab and pull by the shin in towards the chest here. You can walk it out if you want. Move across the room. And get nice and warm here for our legs today. Today's circuit, or circuits, I have several. <laughs> I believe I have about five up here today with a finisher. They're very short, they're just two exercises. All right, we'll work abs and hamstrings or glutes. Actually, the beginning and then we'll go into uh, the large muscles of the legs later, okay? Going uh, kind of back and forth between hamstrings and quads, all right? Good, all right, let's just slide side to side here. Open up, get into those adductors, but gentle, okay? Don't push it, don't overdo it. As you start to loosen up through this, you can go down and touch, okay? Good, but these circuits, our very quick turnover. They're gonna be 20 seconds each exercise, moving up to 40 and then up to a minute. So they're gonna get a little harder and longer with each round. And then we have a rest and we move on, okay? Not a lot of rest, 10 seconds in between. So be ready, be ready to move quickly between exercises. But that means we'll also finish rather quickly today, sort of. <laughs> All right, good. Let's touch those toes. Drop that bottom. Raise that bottom. Oh, hamstrings, hamstrings. Down, arms on front. Stay a whoo -wee. Here we go. Drop, raise, drop, arms down. I groan a lot during warm up, don't I? It's these hamstrings of mine. Up, down, out to stand. Good. Here we go. Drop, raise, drop, out. Yeah, nice work. Let's go ahead and inchworm or walk out here with legs as straight as you can get them right now. All the way out here, okay? Then I want you to walk it all the way back in. And then all the way back out. Each time, hopefully, feeling a little looser than the time before. And maybe with a little bit straighter legs than the time before. We'll see. Some days are better than others. Oh boy. Here we go. Out. Back in, woo, and again, out, and in. All right, on this last one, we're gonna come out, we're gonna stay in that high plank, and I just want you to bring that foot around towards that hand, okay? Really stretch out here. Now I want you to bring that left knee down, and up, one, two, three, four, and five. Turn, turn towards that knee, look up, get a little twist, Good, hands back down, step back, bring that left leg forward, here we go. Tap that knee down, one, two, three, four, and five. Good, twist, looking towards that knee, open up. Oh, it feels good, I don't wanna move, but we're going to, we're gonna step that back now, walk it all the way back and to the top. All right, we have about 55 seconds here. I'd like to do one more. We're just gonna lunge and reach back, okay? So step forward, bring your arms overhead, just give it a little reach back, and back to the game. Don't overdo it, okay? Step and reach. Good, and again. Nice work, just a couple more here. We have about 30 seconds now. We are gonna wanna get our bands on before for our next uh, couple circuits that I have written, all right? So go ahead and grab them. If you're still feeling tight and needing more of a warm up, please pause, 
find some cardio, get a little sweat going, and then follow me here, okay? So uh, we have about 45 seconds. We're gonna go into our next one. We're gonna do a glute bridge. So we're gonna be at the floor, lifting our hips, okay? So from here, laying down, we're gonna press out against the band, squeeze and lift, all right? Our plank, after that, we're gonna do another plank, but we're gonna be high. Last time we were on our forearms, we're gonna go high and we're gonna do a leg lift here, okay? Just squeezing and lifting, pulling up against that band just a bit, okay? It's a small movement, it's not much. All right, here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go, squeeze and lift. Pushing against that band. Good, that's it. Find that tension. Don't let your knees cave in. Press out and up and really extend up. Three, two, and one. Good, 10 seconds here. We're gonna come over to that high plank. All right, lifting that leg behind. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Lift and lower. Just alternate your legs. Good, really feel that outside glute. I'm kind of going up and out to the side just a bit to really get a press against the band, okay? Three, two, and one. All right, good job. We're back down here, back to that glute bridge. 40 seconds on this one. Three, two, and one. Lift and squeeze. Again, we're just easing into this workout, getting those glutes fired up from a night's of sleep or a day of sitting at the desk. Good. Really extend up and press. Good job. Starts to add up quick. Starts out a little easy, then it starts to build. If you don't have a band, don't worry about it. Just join me here for the glute bridge and even in that plank, those leg lifts, okay? You can do everything we're doing minus the band. Three, two, and one. Here we go, back to that high plank with a lift. Three, two, and one. If this is too much to be here at this level, at the floor, grab a chair or the back of a couch or just something slightly elevated and you can do the same thing from there, okay? Just elevate your body just a bit, okay? Good. In 40 seconds, so just pace yourself. Nice work, here we go, last round, a minute each, okay? Three, two, and one, here we go. Press out and lift. Good, that's it, that's it. Really press, really squeeze. Extend as high as you can, really get some height, okay? If your feet are way out here, you're not gonna get as high. Try to walk those feet in a little bit closer to your bottom, okay? That'll allow you to lift a little bit higher. Whoo, you got it, hang on. It's a full minute, it's a doozy. But once we get through the minute, we're done. We're not moving back to these exercises again, okay? We're doing 20, 40, 60. Moving on. It's our three rounds. Resets. Three, two, and one. All right, woo! We're gonna have to stretch those out later. Okay, so with this leg lift, a minute's gonna be long, especially at a plank. Find your angle, angle up, or just go to a plank hold and quit with the lift, okay? Here we go. Really focusing on slowing this down. I mean, it's sticky, right? It's slow when I contract here anyways, or push against the band, but trying to make sure that 
I return here to the start, nice and controlled, all right? Slow movement. Good. Feeling those glutes and hips working, core engaged. That's it. You got it. Now, at any point this becomes too long to be in this plank, just take a break. Take a break or go to your forms. Go to your knees and just hold a plank. Keep working core. Three, two, and one. Whew. Good work. We're going to get rid of this band now. We're done with the band today, okay? Nice job. Grab a sip of water. We have about 35 seconds. We're going to go into a sumo deadlift, okay? Something I want you to be careful of if you're just getting started on this workout is that we just did a lot of core. We did some glute action. All right, we're gonna be using these same muscles in a lot of these exercises today. So if you get tired, you've gotta be able to, to squeeze, embrace, and, and um, engage, okay? If you're too tired, some of those things go, okay? We need to be careful. So watch your weight, watch your time. Maybe you do the 20 and 40 seconds and skip the minute, okay? Here we go, let's do a sumo deadlift. Grab your weight, feet wide, toes out. All right, bottom back towards that back wall and lift forward, okay? Push those hips forward, squeezing those glutes. This is only 20 seconds, so I'm gonna try not to pause at the top here, just move through. Three, two, and one. Now on this next one, we can use weight, or what I'm opting for you to do today is use body weight on the 20 second, maybe add some weight as we go. All right, here we go, we're gonna lunge forward and then come knee down, knee down, up, up. Lunge forward with the left, left knee down, right knee down, left up. Right forward, right, left, right, left forward, left, right, left, right forward, right, left, right, that's rest. All right, so what I think I'll do today and that I would advise is maybe let's just do body weight. That way we can move through it a little quicker, all right? Back to the sumo. Deadlifts, okay? 40 seconds this time. Here we go. Squeeze, we just practiced squeezing and engaging our glutes with the bands. You still want to feel that, all right? Push that bottom back. Shoulders are down away from the ears, all right? Push the hips forward. You got it. If your weight's not enough, take two dumbbells and hold them out in front, okay? You got this. 10 seconds here. Three, two, and one. Good job, put that weight aside. Here we go, just follow my lead. I'm gonna say right, that's that forward, okay? Then right, left, right, left, we'll alternate. Here we go, let's do this. Right forward, right, left, right, left forward, left, right, left, okay? Right, forward, right, left, right, left, forward, left, right, left, right, forward, Right, left, right, left, forward, left, right, left, right, forward, right, left, right, left, forward, left, right, left. You got it. Say to yourself, we just have a few seconds here. Keep moving. Forward, down, down, up, up, right, forward, down, down, up, up. Good job. Great work on that, okay? Back to that sumo. I'm gonna hold mine but from the sides. It's gonna go a little deeper this time. Here we go. So I've got holding by the two heads here, okay? Here we go. Pushing back. I'm not trying to reach to the ground. I'm not rounding my back out, okay? A nice neutral spine. If you don't know how to get that neutral spine, practice in front of a mirror. All right, bringing those shoulders down creating that flat back. And keep practicing before you add any weight to this, okay? Then you'll start to work. Once you have the form, you can start to add that weight. Good. 23 seconds to go. You got it. This is our long one. Three, two, 
And one rest. All right, great job. Nice work with that. All right, one minute of this forward lunge. If getting down to your knees and up is much, just go forward lunge, alternate, okay? Forget the down, down, up, up. Here we go. Right leg forward, right leg down, left leg down, right, left forward, left knee, right knee, left knee, right forward, right, left, right, left forward, left, right, left. You got it, come on, say it to yourself. Right, right, left, right, left forward, left, right, left. Come on, right, right, left, right. Left forward, left, right, left. You do your own pace, okay? We have 23 seconds left to go. I'll say this to myself. I have to also say this out loud to keep going in the right direction. Good. Come on. 10 seconds. Woo, we got it. Three, two, and I'm gonna finish up on this leg. And time, good job. 45 seconds, grab a sip of water. I'll tell you about the next one. We're gonna go for a front squat. All right, so dumbbells are here in front, elbows up as high as you can get them, or they're here against your head with the elbows out in front, okay? 20, 40, 60 seconds on that, all right? And then body weight, and if you wanna try dumbbells, you can. At least on the 20 seconds, maybe go without so you can move through a few of these. But we're gonna do curtsy lunge, alternating back and forth, okay? 20, 40, 60 as well. You've got the pattern down. It's time to go again. Skip that minute if you need it today, okay? Here we go, front squat. Grab those weights, all right? Bring them out, elbows up in front here. Keep those weights on your shoulders. Squat it out. If you want to get those elbows up a little higher, bring that weight towards your head. I put them right against my head so they don't knock me in the head, okay? That's a rest. Here we go. Curtsy it out, okay? Three, two, and one. Step behind. Now, if this is too much today, go ahead and just do a reverse lunge, okay? Find something to do here that works for you. Good, I'm gonna just pick up my pace, working through this as quick as possible. Three, two, and one. Rest, nice work. Give yourself two claps there. All right, back to that front squat. Woo, three, two, and one. Here we go, I'm gonna keep mine up at my head. I can get my elbows up a little higher. Just feels a little bit more natural to me for a front squat. Still tough. And if that's still too much today, Having two weights like that, awkward, not comfortable, it's all you can think about, come to your goblet. You still have weight out in front, okay? You do you, modify, find your challenge. But always try, always try to do something I give you if you're there. And if it doesn't work and it's too much, dial it back. Whew. Good, we got it. Three, two, and one, good job. All right, curtsy, 40 seconds of work. Weight or no weight, I'm gonna choose body weight so I can move, get a few more reps in here, okay? Got that weighted and then that unweighted. Good. That way I can move just a little quicker, still with good form. Woo, it's super easy. Breezy and beautiful here in Indiana. You're gonna see my leaves come in. That's okay. Love the leaves. Sad to see them go. You got this, come on, hang in there. Three, two, and one. All right, nice work. All right, our minute is up, but remember, you know what's gonna get you through it? It's your last one. All right, three, two, and one. Find some sort of squat here. Up and down, you got it. Elbows up, some sort of goblet or front squat. Again, you can have your weight here, up on your shoulders against your head. You can have them up here at an angle, pressing through those elbows. You wanna try to keep those elbows parallel to the floor, okay? 
try not to let them drop. So when I squat, I end up driving through them. I feel like I'm trying to lead with my elbows and push through, okay? Woo. Find the thing that works for you today. 23 seconds to go here. Hang on. Fifteen. Three, two, and one. Woo, good work. All right, one minute of curtsies. All right, you've got this, do your best. A minute is a long time if you're getting started. Dial it back, maybe 40, 30 seconds, 40 seconds, 45 whatever you can do, okay? You just need those last few to feel challenging. So if your form is going, you're feeling wobbly in those knees, it's time to stop. And don't be hard on yourself because if you got to that point, you were challenged, all right? And that challenge will yield results. So it doesn't matter, all right? That's why it gets harder the more you stick with this. You gotta find ways to keep challenging yourself, okay? Increasing that weight, increasing that time, increasing the reps. But just getting started, it's okay. You feel that you're challenged, you feel that you're at that max, rest. Good, here we go. I'm gonna pump it out just a little bit here for this minute, look at my leaves. <laughs> Sounds so nice, it's gonna get chilly tonight. Rain, thunderstorms, we had a nice night in later after work, but three, two, and one. All right, 45 seconds of rest. Lying through this workout, it's going quick. All right. Whew, water tastes good today. Okay, on this next one, we're gonna do a good morning. I advise you, if you haven't done a good morning, just to maybe put your hands here on your head. Just push those hips back. This one's different than the, than the sumo deadlift where we bent down into it. Your legs are gonna stay pretty straight as you push back, My, but soft knees, a little bit in the knees, okay? But I'm not gonna drop down. I'm just gonna push back, to try to get parallel to the floor, okay? I'm gonna add a little weight out in front, all right? You do you. And we have a squat hold. You're either gonna find a wall or hold it out here on the floor, okay? Or on your, wherever you are there. Good, push back. I'm trying to form this tabletop with my body, right? Pushing my hips back. A nice flat back. Again, don't use any weight if you're just getting used to this movement. Three, two, and one. Oh yeah, rest. All right, 20 second hold. You can come right out here and hold. If you have a wall, find a wall. And I suggest that maybe your legs are okay, but your core is really tired because we did the planks, we did the glute bridges, find a wall. That'll help take it out and your legs can just work, okay? If you're standing out here, it's good for the core, but it can be a little tough. Three, two, and one. You can also make that tougher by holding weight, okay? So, up to you. All right, here we go. A little good morning here, grab that weight. I'll show you from the front. Just leaning over, boop. I think of a toy soldier bowing down here. <laughs> Push back, hips forward. Push back, making a tabletop. Look in the mirror, look at your phone, your computer, whatever you have there. Try to look at yourself. What do you look like, okay? Can I put a glass of water on your back and let it sit there when you bend over, right? Do you have that kind of flat back or is your spine rounded? All right, are you dropping those hips? Push them straight back. They should be in line with your head and your spine right now on this one. Eight seconds, you're doing great. Three. Two, and one, rest, all right, nice work. 40 second hold here. I'm gonna hold a little bit of weight on my lap. Three, two, and one. All right, so grab a dumbbell if you want. Add a little bit to it, 40 seconds here. I might regret this once we get going. <laughs> yeah. oh, we're almost there, folks, almost there. We have a minute of each of these, and we're going into a little bit of a finisher. Heavy on those legs, a little bit of ab, a little bit of high knees. Just kind of icing on the cake, all right? And you might be done. You might not need a finisher at this point, and that's okay. Or you don't have time. You did a lot today, though, already, so. Three, 
two, and one. Woo, shaky, shaky. All right, here, oh, I'm gonna keep this weight. One more good morning, this is a minute long. Again, watch that back, watch the core, all right? If you're feeling something that, that is more like pain, all right, then you probably need to stop and check it out, okay? Look at yourself, what's going on there? Maybe we're just tired and we're not able to brace our core and tighten up through this movement, okay? You also wanna engage those glutes. Good. Push back, brace your core, just like it, as if someone was gonna throw a ball at your stomach. All right, really brace. So yes, the belly button kind of goes in, but you're pushing down at the same time. I need to share that video with you on how to do that. Push back, push forward. Just a hinge at the hips. Imagine a glass of water on your back here, okay? Good. Push. Good. Three seconds. And time, nice work. Here we go, last wall hole, wall sit. All right, it's gonna be a minute. Again, you can do this. If you don't have a wall nearby, you can hold, hold yourself up out there, okay? There we go. All right, just gotta find your happy place. I don't know where that is right now. It's probably not right here right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I apologize for that. Oh, I'm just gonna look down at my little turkey socks again and watch them gobble at me here. <laughs> oh. All right, listen to the, to the trees. You've got it, okay? Your legs are gonna shake a bit, all right? You might have to use the wall to stand up here. They're gonna shake, they're gonna burn. As long as those knees are not hurting, you've got this, all right? Let it go, 20 seconds. Shouldn't have looked at the clock, Tatum. Here we go. If you have a weight, maybe you have to put it down. Maybe you have to come up an inch, but try to stay 90 degrees or so, okay? The lower down you are, that 90, the harder it is. The more we raise up, the easier it becomes. But you can do that to modify as you go if you need to. Three, two, and one. Woo! I'm happy to be done with that one. All right, 45 seconds, and we'll get started on this finisher. We're gonna go 30 seconds each. All right, I believe I put three sets in. <laughs> we might be a little tired. We'll at least try to get there, okay? <laughs> Even if you make it one or two, go, go through one with me and decide if it's for you or not at this point. We're gonna do a forward lunge, traveling split squat, I call it, to reverse, okay? So it's like a split squat here. You're gonna swing through in a split squat here. I love to do this on a stepper. Um, I am gonna write this in. I don't know if I've done it in any of my videos yet, and it's one of my absolute favorite exercises for legs. It's tough, though. All right, then we'll go left side. We're gonna do some oblique twists over the knees and we're gonna run it out side to side, okay? Let's do it. I'm gonna go body weight on this for the finisher. Instead of weight, just working quickly. Now, I'm not stopping in the center here on these traveling split squats. I'm swinging through, okay? If you have a balance issue today, you can tap in the middle. Maybe we're just getting used to this movement. It's okay. I'd like for you to try to swing it through. Work on that balance piece, okay? Three, two, and one. Nice work. Right into the other one. Here we go. Forward, back. Swinging that leg through. Whoo. Good. Got that drip going. All right. I felt like I was moving a little faster on that other side than this side. <laughs> Takes a little more thinking and a little more work, no, a little tired. All right, here we go. Right foot out, bring those left, that left elbow over that knee, twist that knee, and twist that whole body, okay? Unless twisting's not for you, twist and lift. Good. Get my arms way out there, twisting over that knee. Good, we'll have 30 seconds each side, okay? We'll move to the other side in five seconds. Three, two, and one, good. Other side, left foot out, twist. Whew. Good, and I'm gonna just bring that toe barely down instead of putting my whole weight on it. So I'm balancing here on the side, all right? Exhale as you strike, okay? 
I almost love any of these where we're standing, working our core, there's balance, and I get to say strike. <laughs> All right, high knees, side to side. I'm gonna start over here, bring them up, and move laterally right, and then left, okay? Move for your space. Just get back and forth here, okay? Good. Get those arms in there too, all right? Don't forget your arms. Good. Three, two, and one. All right, right into it. Here we go. Forward, back. Forward, back. We're not resting. We're trying to keep our heart rate up here. If you needed rest, take it. Try to keep moving with me. Maybe take a rest on this whole segment here and come back for the last one. Good. But you can pause me. It's an option, I won't know. <laughs> Three, two, and one. Especially if you can do it, but you just need that rest because you're just getting started. As you condition more and more, you'll be able to do a lot. That heart rate will not spike as high. It will turn to a regular rate quicker. And you can keep moving, all right? But it's okay if you're just getting started and you need that extra rest, okay? Maybe it's not the, the muscles that are so tired, it's the heart. All right, good. Here we go. Oh, other side, sorry. Forward and back. I went ahead and switched before it was too soon. Oh no, we're here. Twist. Those went quick. I was talking, they just went quick. You knew what you're doing. You're on it, here we go. Twist, twist. Just try to tap that foot down and balance over on this side, okay, where you have to really brace. Good. Three, two, one, good. Here we go. Other side, tap, cross. We got it. Exhale, each time you strike. I love that. Come on. Five seconds, three, two, and one. All right, high knees, here we go. Lateral high knees, move those arms. All right, back and forth, you got it. Come on, we got it. Move those arms, pump those arms. Three, two, and one. Last round, here we go. Right forward, swing it through to the back. Forward, back, good. Next week I'll try to put, remember to put these in with a step over, like with the stepper. Good stuff, tough stuff, but good. All right, I'll take it up a notch. And then if you need to, you can stay right here on it next week, all right? I'll try to remember. I'm not promising. <laughs> There's a lot of sleep time in between there. Now and then. Here we go, left leg forward and back. Swing it through. You got it. Nothing like having the mailman walk up with dog food while you're here. <laughs> oh. oh, we got it. Whew. Good, 10 seconds. Five, three, two, whew, and one, lovely. Here we go. Let's bring that toe out there. Twist from here and around. All right, you can bring it down and up either way. Get a good twist. Try to balance on that leg. So you have to brace a little harder. Good. Exhale with each strike. Feel that hip working as well to balance here. All these muscles that we're using today. Three, two, and one. Other side, here we go. Good. We got it. We have one more exercise after this. 
and we'll cool down. Three, two, and one. Oh, lateral high knees, here we go. Pump those arms, get those arms going too. Up, 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 okay? Small steps, all right? Back and forth. Whew. Good work, almost there. Three, two, and one. Woo! Grab a sip of water. All right, great job. Perfect timing. <laughs> All right. Thank you again for joining me. If this is your first time, even better. All right, just take a look at our videos. I like to coach. Let's go ahead and bring these arms up overhead, inhale through the nose. For those who have trained with me, that train with me, they know I love to talk. Exercise puts me in my happy place and I become a little talkative. So I like to coach and I like to coach because if you were to just look at some of this, you might say that's not for me, but honestly, it can all be dialed down right to what you need or dialed up, okay? so. Don't, don't quit on yourself, okay? And comment, comment if you need something that I didn't address, okay? Inhale through the nose, out, out through the mouth. Give me one more, one more, I need one more here. In, and out, oh, good, all right. Let's step forward here, front leg forward, bend in the knee, heel down, get a little stretch in that calf. Good, and then just bring this arm or hand, palm out, open up just a bit as well, twist. You can drop down into it a bit, all right. Good, we're gonna go into that hamstring stretch, okay? So toes up out in front, you can touch your toes, you can touch your shin, wherever you need to be, feel that stretch. Good, let's turn around, other side. Just start with that knee forward, get comfortable here. Back heel down, stretch out. Oh, good work, that felt good. Now if you wanted to go back through this, you could easily, let's bring that hand in here, you could easily add some weights to that second part where we did body weight, okay? I wouldn't go too heavy. I mean, you could slow it down. Maybe you could do reps instead of the timed interval that I did, so you could slow it down. And I would work maybe six or eight reps in the first round, second round build up 10, 12, 12, 15, or something like that, okay? Good, nice work on that. Let's go in that hamstring, come down, touch the toes, pull back or shin. Good, let's come down to the floor, work our way down. Let's bring our left foot in, right foot out here, okay? I want you to sit tall, get on those sit bones, just nice and tall, and then lean forward, okay? It might be small like mine. <laughs> Some of you might be able to really stretch out, but first, get tall, come forward, and then you can kind of reach, all right? Let's pull those toes back. You wanna add a little side bend. Sometimes I like to do this because that's really my trouble area a lot of times. Good, let's bring that left foot out, right foot in. Same thing, sit nice and tall. Just slide forward, okay, at the hips. Come forward, start with the flat back at first. Reach where you can go. And if you want, you can reach out. Oh, the tightness, all right? I like to do a little side bend. I think with age, it's the twisting, the bending, the reaching that goes for me. Whew, 
This time I want you to bring your right knee over your left knee if you can get it there. I don't know if you can see that, okay? So I'm trying to get that right knee lined up with my left knee. Now I'm not gonna pull in here. I'm gonna drop my chin to my chest and I'm just gonna fall forward towards that knee, but I'm not pulling in, okay? Just dropping, I'm letting gravity just kinda let me hang here and work its magic, all right? What I love about this one is I can feel the stretch all the way from my heel up to my neck, all right, because it's all connected. But I don't feel my hamstring like it's going to snap or break or do whatever, okay? Tear. Uh, but you can also flex your foot to feel that a little bit more, okay? Good, let's do one more on the other side and that's gonna be it today. As my timer has said, I've spent enough time here. Again, trying to line these knees up. Don't pull and hug, just bring that chin down, fall into it. That feels good. All right, that's it, team. Thank you for joining me on day 12. If you're enjoying these workouts, please don't forget to subscribe. They help us bring these workouts to you daily, okay? And also ring the bell. That way you'll get notification every time we post a new one. All right, have a great day. Thank you again.